Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Shay with Pure Shay. And this week, I'm going to review several vegan soups that I found in Kroger. So I'm going to start with one each day and let you know what I think and let you know which one is my favorite. So first, I'm going to start with this one right here. This is the Gardein plant-based chicken noodle soup. It has 200 calories. It's high in potassium, calcium, and iron. These all are great for the season of the cold weather, the COVID-19, the Omicron. So it's good to build your immune system up, keep those strong bones, and just keep your vitals up to par. So I'm gonna let you know what I think in just a few minutes. And now for the best part, I'm gonna try it out. So this again is the Gardein chicken noodle soup. Here's how it looks. Looks like a regular traditional chicken noodle soup by Campbell's. I'm gonna taste it. So of course it's got the regular celery, carrots, and even has the vegan chicken from Gardein. So I'm gonna give you a little close up. Here's how the chicken looks. So it didn't take long. You just heat it up to your preference. You can heat it up in the microwave or on the stove. It took like maybe a minute, minute and a half. Again, this is a soup, great for the cold weather seasoning, great for boosting your immune system for COVID, all the variants, the Omicron and the COVID-19 or any other variants they may uh, come up out with. So here we go. The noodles look just like the new, well, Campbell's, I think it has like the little string noodles. These kind of look like egg noodles type of shape. So here. Mmm. They nailed the, the chicken broth flavor in the broth. Let's go straight for the vegan chicken. Oh, wow, they nailed the uh, Campbell's chicken noodle soup. They did a very good job. Good, good job, Gardein. You guys are winning right now. This is really delicious. Mmm. I made mine a little on the hot side, so yes, yeah, a little hot. Yeah, everything tastes delicious. I mean, everything is soft, easy to swallow. Tastes just like the regular Campbell's. I wouldn't notice a difference. The texture in the chicken tastes just like the little chunks that are in the Campbell's soup. So yeah, I, I'm really enjoying this. I give this a 10 out of 10. Yeah, so definitely try this one out. So I'll let you know what I think about the other three remaining soups and I'll let you know which one is my favorite. So far, this one has set the bar. So next I'm going to try the Amy's Organic Soups, the Quinoa, Kale, and Red Lentil. It has 230 calories, has 7 grams of protein, and of course it's loaded with potassium, iron, and calcium. So I'm going to let you know what I think in just a few minutes. All right, and now it's time to try the Amy's Organic Soup. This again is the quinoa, kale, and red lentil. Here's how it looks. It's quite hot. You can see the kale, the bits and pieces of quinoa. Looks like the red lentil's kind of mashed up inside it. Again, you probably could make this on your own. 
But if you're short on time or you're under the weather, not feeling good or have COVID-19 or the Omicron or any other flu viruses, this is one of the, you know, options to try out something quick or have somebody cook it for you. So here we go. It's very hot. It smells great. Oh, this is really good. Mmm, this is delicious. You can taste all the flavors. It's very light. This is delicious. Okay, Amy's, I see y'all. It's a very light soup. It's very delicious. You can taste all the quinoa. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. Man, this is gonna be tough to pick my favorite. I would give this a 10 out of 10 as well. Like this is delicious. I see the onions, the kale, the quinoa, and the flavor is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Yeah, so, so far the Gardein has more protein. This one has seven, I believe the Gardein had 13 grams of protein. Again, they all have potassium, calcium, and iron. So they're all great options to choose from. So yeah, I'm gonna keep eating this. Definitely give this one a try as well. This is gonna be very tough to choose which one that I like. So next I'm gonna try this spicy black bean soup by Simple True. It has 300 calories. And it's got black beans, tomato juice, green bell peppers, corn. So yeah. And now it's time to try it again. This is the spicy black bean. It has 15 grams of protein and it's also loaded with a lot of potassium, calcium, and iron. So here's how it looks. Again, this is great for the cold weather season, fighting any flu, colds, viruses, the COVID-19. Ooh, I can see the black beans, the bell peppers, the corn, very hot. Oh, this is good. Mmm. It reminds me of like that when I wasn't vegan, like the chicken tortilla soup without the chicken. It kind of tastes like that. It reminds me. Mmm. It's good. I feel like I want to like dip some like tortilla chips in here. And eat it or like put this over like some tortillas and make some nachos. It's it's a really kind of um simple soup. I don't taste too much of the spice, but it is a very good soup. It's like um I don't know, you can taste all the flavors. You can taste like a hint of the spice maybe they're talking about. Maybe the bell peppers is what I really taste. But it's actually really good. Not bad, simple truth. So I'm interested in trying the very last soup. So for this on its own, I would give this maybe a nine out of 10. I wouldn't give it a solid 10, but it's very good. So yeah, I got one more to try. Can't wait to try it and let you know which one is my favorite. All right, so this is the last one out of the four vegan soups that I chose. This is the lentil vegetable. Again, this is the USDA organic. It has 270 calories, has 11 grams of protein, and it's loaded with potassium, iron, and calcium. So we're gonna try this one out. And yes, I'm gonna let you know which one is my favorite.
All right, and now it's time to taste it again. This is the lentil vegetable. This is how it looks. You can see all the vegetables in there. It's got like potatoes, carrots, onions. You see the lentil, um, green beans. Yeah, I think that's all of the vegetables. So yeah, here, I'll get a better look. This is how it looks. And so now we'll taste it. Mmm. Great soup for when you're not feeling well, under the weather. Um, yeah, this is a really great hearty soup. It's very light. Mm. Light but tasty. Great for the cold weather. I would probably give this one like a eight an eight out of ten it's really really good but it's not my favorite i like the quinoa kale um, vegetable one over this one mm. it's not bad like i said eight out of ten so to give my top ratings I would, geez, I don't know. My two favorite were the Gardein chicken noodle soup and actually the spicy bean one surprised me. I actually added vegan cheese in it and it actually was really good. I actually even put some tortillas, kind of dipped it in there. As I continued to eat that, it actually got spicier. So if spicy is not your thing, don't go for that one. If you're wanting something more light and you know you don't want something heavy, I would go with the quinoa kale and this one here. The, those two are perfect if you need like a lighter soup. But my favorite two is between the garden and the spicy bean. So if I were to get to give, if I were to give my top one, I would have to go with. The Gardein, actually. The Gardein is just, it just, you know, it reminds you of the chicken noodle soup. It's light, it's tasty. It's, you know, slightly filling. Perfect for the the weather, the season, the cold. If you're not feeling good, I would give number one is the Gardein. And number two would definitely be the spicy bean. Three would be the kale and the quinoa. And this would be the last favorite. But actually, they are all good in their own way. Like, for different reasonings of what you want them for. So yeah, try all four of them out. Let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Be you. Let me know if you want me to try any other soups or any other thing. Drop down in the comment below. Thank you guys again. Bye.